Hello and welcome back to Mimus. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. No, yeah, we're back on Mimus and I did get told something in one of the previous videos there. There was a mistake in one of my codes here. Uh, this is the code for looking after my greenhouse. And it was pointed out that at the end here, I put my little alarm on the end, set the alarm and then switch to flash run according to R1 instead of the alarm. Which means the alarm is only going to show on when that last condition is met, meaning it's um, too hot. Everything else will just be ignored. It should be alarm there. Because we've aggregated all the checks into alarm and that one tells me when anything's going wrong. So, if I update that, um, the alarm comes on. Ah, uh, it's gone off now. Great design. Ah, uh, the alarm comes on and, um, I've killed my plants again. Uh, ha, 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 um, so, uh, Oh, what you? I actually ran out of carbon dioxide. Uh, having that door open there, it's probably come back in again. Yeah, it's come back in again. Uh, I came in here and a few of my plants were dead. The other ones were all dying, uh, but they weren't all dead. So I could come in here and rescue the other ones. Uh, well, I mean, when I say rescue, I mean I picked them and ate them. That's kind of a rescue. Um, but I ran out of CO2. My plants died again. I'm here where I'm going to starve. Oh, I've still got a few potatoes left. still got 55 potatoes left. I'm still good. I'm not going to starve. Um, but I've run out of carbon dioxide. So um, it might be time to fix that now that I've killed my garden again. Right, so... The reason that happened is because, well, I ran out of carbon dioxide. I think we already covered that. We left that there. Someone's going to hurt themselves on that. Oh, I forgot to cycle the airlock. No, I'm not going to put in an airlock to stop that happening. Shut up. Uh, right. What happened is I have my storage tank up here with the CO2 pump on it. And I forgot to fill up the tank again when I need to. There's three megapascals in there. Yeah. <clears throat> That'll certainly do that. Ah, uh, three megapascals. I should be able to store all that in there. But anyway, I probably need to automate that to make sure that stays full. Um, so, how do I know when to switch that on? Um, I could just... If it's really hot, it might put in a heap of hot gas. Although I do have a fair bit of CO2 in here. That's all been cooled down by the pollutant, which I've got plenty of that in there. Have I? Have I? Uh, 934 litres out of 6,000. Not much. Got plenty of nitrogen. That's still taking forever to cool down. Uh, so it's... What I could do is I'm claiming the... Ow! Oh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, there we go. Don't panic, it's all under control. Now, I am currently venting. Uh, that's the overpressure from my furnace. Uh, this is the ex excess waste coming from the Sterling engine. Right, so that is uh, you. <coughs> 17 megapascals, 844 degrees. So I need to start rescuing that. Pollutant, oh, geez, okay, mostly carbon dioxide. So I need to rescue that. 
and start filling up the tanks and getting them to go properly. So <coughs> I think that's going to go through, well, surprise, surprise. What can I possibly put down more of to, uh, to cool that down? Hmm, maybe a radiator. Anybody think of that? Uh, so I need to put in a couple of radiators and feed it into here once it has cooled down. So I probably want to get the pressure reasonably low so the pollutant doesn't condense out of it. If I keep that below uh, about 2 megapascals, that should be fine. And everything else should be good. Then I'm just going to monitor the temperature in there and suck it straight out into my reclaim uh, once once it cools down. So it's still, this is still switched on. Well, that's good for me power. Uh, ooh, 69. Nice. Um, <clears throat> I still ooh, have filters. Um. You're all good. You're all good. So I need a volume pump. Solved. Um, <clears throat> I need some radiators. I need some radiators. Bigger radiators. Ah, oh, well, it worked once. Um, Bigger pipes, big radiators. I'll need a pipe, pipe analyzer. Oh, it's 29 degrees. Um, I need to do something in here as well. Oh, I put down a floor. So everybody probably see that was there before. But I put it down. I probably need to plant more potatoes. No, I didn't need to plant. I can plant potatoes now because I've got CO2 now. Um, so we're good now. Oh, 80 kilopascals. And I need to get some sort of uh, ventilation in here as well. Um, overpressure. That's what I want. Ooh, and I can suck all that out and send it back into my filtration so we can start uh, circulating our gas. Um, so in here, probably a scrubber. 20 degrees. Is that working too well? Or is that the water doing that? Um... Water, here we go. 20.3. 19.8. How's it getting colder in here than it is everywhere else? Um, oh well. Let's get our garden back before I starve to death. <coughs> I'll have to poop out something so huge that um it breaks the toilet bowl. Although we don't have one of them, so that's not an issue. Um, nah, I'll save them for the next time I kill all my plants. Alright, so I've got an atmospherics kit. I can get a scrubber. Uh, so I want... I want, I want, I want. What am I doing with that? I can switch you over. Yoink. I can let you out. Yoink. I can put this away before I get all stinky. Uh, <coughs> you. You. Okay. Where am I going to put a scrubber? I'll put a scrubber down there. Um, that'll be facing the wrong way. It'd be better if I could put a scrubber over here. And the filter will be pointing outside, but I can't put it there because I think I've got a cable just there. <coughs> Although it would be good to have that permanently on. Need to get to the ventilation system, which is just up there. The output can go oh, out. Um, <coughs> oh, I could put it over this side. There's nothing there. These things aren't doing anything. I could just move them. Easy. Not a problem. Uh, so I just need to tidy up this mess. Oh, no, no. 
There we go. That's better. Now, um, <clears throat> there seems to be a heap of stuff in the way for some unknown reason. Uh, put that away. Um, uh, ooh. There's some ingots there. And some other ingots. Let's put them away. Don't want to lose them. Now, I have... Yeah, that goes in the medical room. And... Right, so I need some power. Uh, right, you... So, power, ventilation... Ooh, ventilation is up there somewhere. Yep. I've got power. I can now put you into there as a scrubber. Um, into there. There it works. Uh, so I need you and you hooked up to the ventilation which is just there and we're good so I need some pipes some cables and one's power data uh, connection oh for Fine. Right. Where is that one there? Right, you to there. And you there. No, 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 no. Put that one away. Uh, filtration, you. I need some pipes, hook that up, some filters for... What have I got in here? Probably just pollutants. Yeah, just pollutants. Uh, so, I shall want... You... Or... A pollutant... And volatiles. I shouldn't have volatiles in here, but... They're bad, so I'll, I'll get rid of them. Now, I wanted radiators. That's what I came in here for. And a sensor. Uh, so I need anal again. And some, whoop, some radiators. I'll grab a medium. Ooh, large. Large is not in, only in liquid. But, oh, the top, there we go. I'll need one. That's if I've got enough for one, one will probably do nicely. Okay. So now you two go into there. And I'll need to suit up again. Uh, I need you, you, no, 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 go away. Ah, uh, steel. And... What I need? Uh, I'll find it when I get outside. And... Oop. Right, I need pipes, and pipes, and pipes, and I need one of them. Ooh, I'll need a pressure regulator too, because I've got to feed it into here. Never mind, got one. Uh, so, I want to take the overflow from that. No, I probably want to take another line down. I don't know how quickly I'm going to process this. Uh, so, if I say we put in a pressure regulator 
Aí. Ah, uh, so that's a back pressure regulator. Yeah, we'll put in a pressure regulator. I need an insulated pipe. And that's what I don't have. Well, there you go. I'll need to tap you in. I shall need my radiator. Which I can put down. Oh, no frames. I need frames. Oh, there's another atmospherics kit. They seem to be growing. Ah, uh, so let's um, let grab you up here. Uh, so if I put my radiator into here, a uh, radiator, radiator. Um, put that around the wrong way. Uh, that's the wrong tool. Was around the wrong way. We'll put it around the wrong way. The right way. I've already put it around the wrong way. Mission solved. Right. So we get you. Um. Now I want to pipe you, you, I uh, can't do that one. Um, uh, I could have just put it straight into Not that. Ah, uh, I was going to that furnace. That furnace is not really needed anymore. I'll build another furnace inside. So I can take that pipe, put the pump into that one, and. Go. I shall need to put on the analyzer. Need you. Need you. And you. And back up into there and run out of pipes so you can now disconnect from there you are just a straight over pressure and this is an ugly pipe which um yeah it's, it's definitely not OCD compliant so I shall fix that um, talk about my OCD compliance and throw stuff everywhere. That's all right. You and you. Yep. Now I need to get the power to you. I need the insulated pipe which is just... Um, I have a spare one of them. Um, it just just here. Only totally deliberately and knowingly had that one there. Now if I paint it, no one will know the difference. There we go. Now it's a hot pipe. Uh, okay, so this is now going to Take the stuff out of there. You. It will cool down. If I pressurize this system to say two, two megapascals, as it cools down, I shall be able to probably take that out now. I might put the centrifuge out here. I've got to do that still. 
Um, there you go. Uh, probably rescue those pipes. Not that I have a need for them. Whoa, that was lucky. <laughs> Almost broke something. Be careful when pulling out pipes. Lucky I put in walls inside. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, right. You. Right, you're done. Now, where were we? Now I've got a... Your cable's on the wrong side. That's irritating. I don't want that one. I want that one. How about we put you around the other way? There we go. Now in this cable around the outside, if I had some more cables, is what I'd be saying. Um, I need the pipes for inside, so let's go inside. Get some more cables, because I've got more cables inside and pipes outside. That's the opposite place I need them. Right. You can do that. You can then have uh, our cables. Screwdriver. Um, I can pipe. You. Now the outputs, you want to go to outside because that'll be waste gases. Do I want to reclaim them? Um, there's probably not enough there to worry about. Uh, you and Anna. Good. Right. Uh, that away, put that away, you go into there, you go into there. Excellent. Now, of course, we've got to put some pollutants in there before we clean it all out. And I need to put the cowl on the outside. Right, but you are a scrubber in place. I use up all my steel sheets outside. I think I need more steel sheets. Well, that can be done. Uh, sheets. Steel sheets. 31. I don't really need 31. I've just got to put that one up. Yeah. And plastic. And we're good. Uh, now, I want cowl on the outside. What do I have to do? I have to get cables in here. Yoink, I got cables from here near here. Uh, you. And. Now, this will be. Interesting. How the hell am I going to do this? I should probably control this from the atmospherics. Um, because if something goes wrong, uh, it'll blow up my pipes and everything. Um. Oh, the radiator. That's right, the radiators are unnecessarily fat. Yeah, you around that way. That way. You. 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 Uh, you. Okay, um, I already had that one in there, didn't I? There we go. Oh, okay, so you're all wired up. I now need... I didn't wire that one up. I need to wire that one up. That's what I need to do. And throw them on the floor. Right, you're good. You got nothing. You're... Yep, go on. 
Um, <clears throat> okay. Now I need to look in there, see what temperature is in there. If it's a low enough temperature, pump it out into here where all those things will filter everything. Sounds simple enough. If I control it from this, I can put a chip down here to do that. Right, uh, cutters. Yo. And yo. Cool. We've got that. Now, I need for you to be set to. Uh, what's our pollutant go at? Oops. Pollutant is uh, pollutant uh, you Celsius. We go down to pressure is eighteen hundred. It's minus ninety two. Uh, if we put it well, if we keep it below that. If we put it to 1.8 megapascals, we should be able to not break stuff. Uh, I should probably put a liquid drain on there just in case, shouldn't I? Probably an idea. Where am I going to fit that in now? Uh, so if I put you into there, might put a liquid drain in there just in case things stop working. Right, so I need a liquid drain. I need a chip. I'll need some housing. Um, okay, so a drain. One of them. Uh, housing I have got filed away here. Uh, I know housing, there we go. And I have a chip filed under C, the floor. And give me that one. Right, got me computer. Got me drain. That's everything I needed. Well, I'm going outside anyway, so uh, how hot was it in there? 30 degrees. As I said, we'll take a radiator out as well. Uh, that is a gas radiator. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I think I only needed one of them to make that work. <coughs> now if I put you out, put you onto there, that should stop that exploding, hopefully. Now my chip, I'll put it over here with the rest of my control circuits. Yep. You, you, and yep, you. Right. Um, you're good. Okay, so I need the volume pump. You. I want you as well. Ah, uh, I could do that. Um, so you had to be on 1800. Now this will be taking gas away from my Stirling engine, so I may need to adjust that. Depends how quickly it cools down. It means we'll either keep dumping gas out there because we can't cool it down fast enough, or my Stirling engine will stop working because I take too much of it away. Well, we'll find out. Okay, so I want to get you out. Now, I want to find out 
uh, read you. I'll switch on. I can manually switch the other one on and off when I need to. Uh, so, import from you, there's nothing in there. So, I shall alias the pipe pipe sensor to D0 and alias the pump to D1. That should be all I need. Um, start. A yield. So if we load into R0 from the pipe sensor, the temperature, temper, a temper, a sure. Um, so if it's L, oh, let's just um. Uh, we shall subtract r zero equals. We want it to come on when it's low. So we put r zero first. Uh, other way around, we put on our set point, which we'll say is twenty five degrees. Oops, two ninety eight twenty five degrees, and. Uh, minus whatever the temperature is. So when that is high, we get a negative value. When it is below 298, we get a positive value, which we can then feed into the pump. So save the pump the setting R0. So the lower it gets, the faster the pump goes. So hopefully it'll reach a balance there where it is pulling it in um, just as fast as it's cooling down. It'll start siphoning it into the uh, atmospherics groups. I can control my atmospherics from here as well. Ooh, maybe later. Uh, that should be all I need. Yeah, okay. Jump to the start. That was too easy. What's wrong? Uh, so, you are the Yep. You are the reclaim pump and the reclaim mainly, sir. Ah, uh, you. One. We want the pipe sensor. The reclaim analyzer and the reclaim pump. There we go. So, oh, that's probably going to give me a 10. There's nothing in there. If I switch that on, that should drop back to zero, which it has. Well, that cools down. Okay, so that'll go up to 1.8 megapascals. Well, is there anything coming out the top anymore? Now that one is set to well, 17 megapascals. We're down to 16.4, so it is all coming into here. We're losing 17 kilojoules of, of heat out of that. Nice. It's only because it's so... Hey, it's not very hot in there. Okay. So you... Are cooling down. You are still set to zero. So as that cools down to 25 degrees, this thing should switch on. And the pollutant should not condense at that pressure. Nothing should condense. Only a bit of nitrogen. 
Any bit of volatiles. I must be running volatile rich on me with me water burner still. That's okay. So 33, 32, 31, 30. Well, oh, it's cooling down real quick. Hasn't even got up to pressure yet. And you should switch on as it gets to 25. It's on. And it's still cooling down even more. 23, 24. Okay, that's weird. It's obviously sucked some more hot gas through there. Oh, I see. So that one's at 1 1.8 megapascals. Uh, weird. Anyway, we're oh, getting to 15 now. Well, that might be sucking it through too quickly. It's coming at 23.6, so that's good. And oops, I got that switched off. Ah. I'd probably best get rid of that fuel mixer now, hadn't I? And there we go, it's all getting sucked out of there. Uh, so you, going into there. Uh, temperature should be going up because that is minus 70 degrees and you should be cooling that back down again. Uh, 4.9 kilojoules, yes. You're in a 3 megapascals. I might have to go hunt some more fuel soon because I am not gas self-sufficient yet. Okay, so that is now processing everything there. So my carbon dioxide should be coming in through here. You should be going... Oh, um, I think I've still got that pump on, haven't I? Ah, I didn't forget that. I knew what I'm doing. Okay, I forgot it. Uh, that didn't explode. Oh, three megapascals. Is that all you got? Weak. Okay, so I have. Oh, it's low gravity jump, you useless. Time for the Olympics, yes. Yeah, see, that's going up. Not hugely fast, but it's going up. So we are now sucking out all the gas from my. Um, From my sterling engine. Oh no, that's doing all right. Still 15.7. Yeah, it's still going down. 15.6. Yeah. How are you doing? Um, you're still set at 10 megapascals. You're still coming out very hot. You have cooled down quite a bit. Uh, that should be going to... Oh, that's right. Okay, so that, that one is going to heat up the furnace. That's all right. That one will heat up the furnace. Um... That one, I might have hooked up that wrong. Ah, uh, might have hooked up my furnace wrong. And my furnace is connected to P junction. That one there. Um, okay. 
not the one it's meant to be connected to, but okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Ah, uh, what could possibly go wrong? But anyway, this pipe is not cooling down my furnace. That was the main thing I was worried about. Now, furnace is staying hot because that all happens before it gets into this uh, khaki pipe. Um, so you should now. I had a pipe there I could have pinched. Ooh, from there I could have pinched. Ah. Oh. So that should be doing its thing now. <clears throat> Has it settled down to a standard rhythm? Uh, still moving a little bit. And back up again. <laughs> it might find a place, it might not. We'll see how we go. Uh, but that is there. Now I'm now reclaiming the gases. I should have an incoming supply of CO2. That should be coming in fast that I'm using it. Now I had to get the pipe out of there. I probably could just open that room now, couldn't I? What are those pipes doing? I could pinch them. I could reclaim them. Um, I'm making more pipes. How inefficient. And I did hear some pipes creaking before when I was in the in the greenhouse. I've missed the walkway. Uh, so I need to check what is happening where because something is not right. Not you. Not going to be any of you lot. Um, not you. I heard it in there. So it needs to be a pipe somehow associated with that. Not you, not you. This is all in a vacuum, so I can't have heard any of that. You... Oh... That's not good, that's switched off. What was it the rooms? Might have been that room. Um, what pressure is in there? No, oh, 102 kilopascals. Wasn't that one? Um, well, I guess we'll find out when it explodes. No point worrying about it. Now, I want to... I won't need to switch them off anymore, will I? Um, I should check the filters though. I shall... I think I can batch slot read out of the filtration systems. So I shall get an alarm. Hopefully hook it up right this time. Uh, a couple of alarms probably. Got a few filters to check. Uh, I can go inside. So I want some flashing lights. I want to get an alarm onto that thing. Uh, my water filter. So flash. That's a plumometron. I want the electronics printer. Flashing light. If I grab iron and copper. Uh, nope. I grab two of them. And two. I shall grab ye. There. And. Um. Filters outside can go. There. That should work.
Okay, so this could be water chip. I can put stuff into there. Let's actually move that. Uh -uh. Get to there. Get you. Evil cutters. No, I can't. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, power cable. Well, um, okay. I'm gonna have to ugly wire that one then. That's okay. And you should be able to wire up just onto here. Okay, now, okay, it's going to be flashing light there, if I put that into here, so I shall, uh, nope, we shall defer find the filtration uh, to filtration you make the hash oh done now I shall say uh, batch slot read oh load batch slot And into R0 from filtration, slot index 0, which will be the first filter. I want to know the, the quantity. I think it is. Oh, come on. U A N T I T Y. And I shall take the minimum. So if any of them are back to 0, that will give us a true. No, it won't. It'll just load the lowest, lowest one. So, whatever the lowest one is, it will return. Uh, and so, I shall load batch slot into R1. I'll just copy that one, shall I? Uh, copy you into R1 from slot 1. That's the other slot. So, it reads the quantity from all of them. Uh, so then I shall just take the minimum R0, R0 and R1. So if any of them are at 0, R0 will now be 0. Uh, so now we shall uh, set equal to 0, set R0, if R0 equals 0. Uh, so if it equal to 0, that'll give us a true. And save, uh, I need my flasher up there with the other aliases the uh, flasher 51 or 2 alias we save to the flasher on to r0 um uh yoink export you Yep, and we want the flashing light onto there. There it is. Put that away. No, put it away. Put that away. Reset that. Switch it on. Um. Okay. We have our slots. Where's my slot variables? Ooh, okay. 
That's been removed from there. Quantity, um, it, it is, unless any of them are going to zero. Uh, 28. Oh, ha <laughs> um, ha Yeah, because one of them's at zero. That's why the light went on. I need to get a water filter in there. Filter water that I don't have. Okay. And water filter. Let's grab a big one with the stalite that I brought over here totally on purpose. Uh, okay, so I left my computer outside so I can't program this one. I didn't hook it up so I can't program that one. Uh, that's alright. Anytime soon. Oh, my plant's going. Still 29 degrees in here. You're good. You're thriving. Excellent. 23 degrees in here. I have. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. 123 litres of water. Nice. That's not an issue for me. Give me that. Uh, you're all still good. We're all still good. It's all right. She's all right. Now, if I yoink this in there, that light should go out. And watching, watching, watching. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, okay. What did I do wrong? Quantity minimum. None of them are at zero. Take the minimum of those two. None of them are at zero. Set equal to zero. Should be a false. There's no more filtrations on this circuit. Oh, no, there's no more filtrations on that circuit. Because you're on a different circuit. Uh, which I can connect. And if you're paint. No, 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 go, go in there. Right. Why did you not work, you stupid? No, you, you, flashing light. Um, okay, save. CV setting uh, zero. Um, yep, whoop, export you zero. Why quantity? I'm sure it's quantity. Fine, I'll get a batch slot reader. You come with me. Um, now which one's control me water gas mixer that's me gas mixer gas fuel generator ceiling engine oh the water maker's inside isn't it is it hmm 
No, I don't have anything controlling that one. Well, guess what? We can control that from here. So you... Uh, just my fuel mixer. That will do. So if I import you, you get back to work. So I can now say, uh, alias the uh, flasher to D2 and alias the uh, um, foster to D3. I should say just down here, load a slot into R0. Not a combustor, it's a filter. Idiot. Uh, I need to see R0 from the filter slot 0. It's. It's. It is quantity. I'm sure it's quantity. It might not be quantity. Uh, so save to the db setting uh, zero from there it was which one was this one wasn't it that one export you oh because uh, I haven't hooked it up. That'll be white. Uh, gas mixer. You are the flashing light. You are the filtration. See, so you're set to 20. That, that is right. It is quantity. Right, okay. So load slot into R1 from the filter I haven't got the data hooked up on the other ones oh you dildo um the uh, quantity uh so set r1 um you bought yeah set to 100 yeah that's right I haven't got the data hooked up Ugh. That's what you get for batch commands. Forget to hook stuff up and it just doesn't tell you. So I want the uh, minimum R0, R0 and R1 and set the uh, set equal to 0. R0 if R0 is equal to 0 and save to the flasher on R0. Right, um, yoink, export you, right, Q1, you should switch off, there we go, ah, right, okay, I've solved that one, you're switched on, I need to go outside and hook up my data to the filters, um, uh, ventilate you, What I've done is yes. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, so lights on. Uh, if I can hook them up, the light should go. Oh, it has gone off. I've got one of them hooked up. It doesn't know that the other ones aren't hooked up yet. Um, Right. We hook them all up. Uh, you, you. Right. Okay. So if I light comes on, light goes off. Light comes on, light goes off. Yep. All of them. We're good. Right, if we run out of filters now, it'll tell us. Ooh, and I had to put my... 
Hell on. Uh, you can go down to. Oop. Yeah. Nice. Now that is waste gas, so I have got to paint that. Oop. Here we go. And now I have my gas reclaim going. Let's switch completely off then. And it's probably stealing too much gas from my um no that's still 16 megapascals okay so that's balanced that is actually less than the 17 we got there so now none of it is venting out it is all going through the reclaiming system now all i got to worry about is when i reclaim too much and these tanks explode Yay, that'll be fun. Uh, but I need to put in my recycler. Probably put an overpressure on those tanks. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. One more test. No, I'm still not going to jump up there. Uh, oh, you say, light is off. Light is on. Light is off. Light is on. We're good. Hup. Okay. We're good. Um, don't need to vent the vacuum out. Holy moly. We are doing nicely now. Right. That's Go in there. Right. Lost a can of paint. There we go. It's 28 degrees in here. It's still nice and warm. You're still working. Um, we're good. Now, we have our power still working. We have our water filters alarm on them. We have an alarm on our other filters there. We are reclaiming the gas. From our system there um, so we are currently venting well nothing except for um, except for you well, that should get rid of our pollutant there we go stinky stinky pollutant going down go down pollutant um, there we go it's going down It'll take a while. Uh, that is going down. Um, what do you say? Got that done. Got that done. We got alarms. Fix that alarm. And um, plants are growing again. 84 kilopascals. And that's so solved that. They're all thriving. I'm almost back into potatoes again. Excellent. So we got our CO2 back. Plenty thereof. Until I run out. And we're looking good. So, uh, yeah. Killed all my plants for a second time. Just the way to treat it when you've got the Plants and Nutrition mod on and you can't afford to lose plants. I started with only three seeds. I've killed them all twice, and um, I'm still alive though. I'm really, really sick of potatoes. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. That's minus. Ah, uh, <laughs> but anyway, we got plenty of water. We're good. So that's about all we got time for today. So till next time, happy building. See ya.